how are you doing? Welcome to church. And I uh, hope you had a fantastic week. We serve a God that is faithful. He said, Lo, I'll be with you to the end. And I know that my God will not forsake you. He will not leave you. So cheer up, my brother. Cheer up, my sister. It is well with you. It is well with your soul. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. Um, we've been on a, uh, on a wonderful series, a new series, Shine. Yeah, sharing the light of the world. How was the lesson last week? I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, we we'll bless the name of the Lord. I was blessed last week, and I know you are also blessed by His grace. Mm. <laughs> I'm lost for word. Guess what, guys? Thursday was my birthday, and I'm grateful for all your wonderful messages. God is so wonderful. God used some of you greatly. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you for the um, birthday messages. I read um, almost all of them. I tried my best to. And I, I, I really appreciate it. I don't take your messages for granted. God bless you real good in Jesus' name. Amen. And I pray for you that um, you will celebrate uh, uh, great birthdays in Jesus' name. You will not die before your time. Yeah. God will keep you alive and well in the name of Jesus. As you celebrated me, so shall you be celebrated also in Jesus' name. Amen. The world shall celebrate you in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm grateful. I'm thankful. I will not take your kindness for granted. Uh, my heart is filled with gratitude. And like I always tell um, all of you that uh, we, should be, we should be grateful for life. You know, I always demonstrate the story of uh, the ten lepers that Jesus cleansed. You know, you know, in those days, they don't allow the lepers into the city. You know, one day Jesus was just passing by and they were screaming at the top of their voice, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on us. Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy upon us. Then um, Jesus turned back and had compassion on them and he just told them, go show yourself to the priest, you know, and on their way, to show themselves to the priest. The God cleansed, they were healed. And, but something happened. Only one of them returned to tell Jesus, thank you. You know, and Jesus turned back and asked his disciples, we don't attend our cleanse. How is that only this uh, one that has come back to give me thanks? Uh, that's to tell you that gratitude in our life is very important. And for returning to give thanks to Jesus, Jesus said, he, Jesus made him whole, you know, making him whole means that he, he will not have any trace of leprosy, no, no scar in his body anymore, no trace. He was just made whole. Yeah. So please, guys, the place of gratitude, I cannot overemphasize, overemphasize the place of gratitude in our lives. As believers, we must be grateful. So I'm a grateful person, especially for my life. I shared for, with you guys last week that growing up as a child, my parents thought I was, I was dead already. My siblings thought I was dead already. But look at me today. I am 40 years. Glory to God. God, I can't thank you enough. God, I can't thank you enough. I'm grateful for a wonderful life. I'm grateful for the gift of life. Lord, I'm grateful. I thank you. I give you glory. I give you honor. Thank you for, giving me, for keeping me alive. From my primary school, secondary school, university days, Lord, you are the one that has kept me to this very moment. Lord, I'm grateful. I cannot thank you enough. Father, receive my thanks. Receive my thanks, oh God. I've just come to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am grateful. Thank you, Daddy. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Lord, I know what you have for me ahead is greater than what has passed. I know my future is bright because my future is in your hand. And I pray for these young people listening to me all over the world. Father, bless them with long life. Bless them with your peace in the name of Jesus. Open their hearts of understanding. Give them understanding beyond their imagination in the name of Jesus. As they celebrate me, so shall they be celebrated and much more in the name of Jesus. 
wherever they mention their name, it shall be for good and not for evil in the name of Jesus. The devil has no hand over them in the name of Jesus. These ones are untouchable in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you once again. Yeah, thank you. I'm so grateful. God bless you real good in Jesus' name. Perhaps this is your first time joining us. You are welcome. We are called One Church International. And we are the youth ministry. Yeah, the team uh, church. And we're called Fusion. And if you find yourself in the city of Lagos, please do join us. And I guarantee you that you will be glad you did because you'll be blessed. Yeah, thank you so much. God bless you. Uh, we've been on a series, Shine. Yeah? And uh, by the grace of God, I know last week we dealt about facing our fears. Uh, um, um, I know that uh, it, it's good. It's a good thing for us to share our faith with our friends, with people around us. So please let us not hide uh, 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 this wonderful gift that God has given us. Do not be afraid to share your faith with your friends or, or, or the people around you. Praise the name of the Lord. My earnest prayer uh, is at the end of this series, you'll be bold enough. you have the confidence. You'll be equipped to share the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ with no fear in your heart in the name of Jesus. So, but because, before we go into today's um, uh, uh, topic, I want you guys to sit back, relax, uh, call your friends around, call your family members. Let's go into our praise and worship. The Bible says, rejoice in the Lord always and again. I say rejoice. This is the day the Lord has made. Yeah. And I will rejoice and be glad. So let us rejoice in the presence of God. And I'll be right back with the topic. God bless you. Choir over to you.
Welcome back from our praise and worship. Thank you, choir, for that amazing ministration. I was blessed. God bless you real good in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Today on our series, Shine, we are going to talk about finding our motivation. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me get my Bible. Finding our motivation. And the first book of the Bible, you know, that we're going to read today is the book of, uh, of Luke chapter 19 verse 10. Luke chapter 19 verse 10. Grab your Bible and um, though it's, it's going to be displayed on your screen. Luke chapter 19 verse 10. For the Son of Man came to seek and save those who are lost. Praise the name of the Lord. And who is the Son of Man? Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is Jesus Christ talking for he has come to seek and save those who are lost and you know that this world uh, uh people are lost in this world you imagine uh what's going on in ukraine between ukraine and russia the world needs a savior 
yeah this world needs a savior and people are doing in this part of nigeria where we are you know i see young people doing things that are i know that the devil is fighting for their souls but we have jesus to share with them we have to share this gospel with them for this reason for the son of man came to seek jesus is seeking for them jesus is seeking for those people doing evil he's seeking for them but jesus is not here right now physically but jesus is living in you yeah and jesus wants to use you as an instrument to seek and save those who are lost the question is will you be available are you willing to be that instrument by which jesus will seek the loss and save this world and save those young teenagers that are living their lives anyhow that are doing things anyhow are you available praise the name of the lord why share your faith why share the faith because the world is lost people are at lost people are lost young people are lost you need to share your faith with them you need to tell them about jesus christ praise the name of the lord and uh, let's go on and read another scripture john chapter 20 verse 21 john chapter 20 verse 21 and i read as the father has sent me so i am sending you praise the name of the lord that is jesus saying like i said you are an instrument you are a vessel that god wants to use to seek and save the lost god sent jesus into this world and when jesus was leaving this world he said as the father god almighty has sent me so i am sending you jesus is sending you into the world jesus has sent you into the world to seek those who are lost praise the name of the lord to tell them to share your faith with them are you willing to share your faith with everyone around you they must know about your faith they must know that you are a child of god and you must bring them to this awareness praise the name of the lord we must find that motivation praise the name of the lord and god help us in jesus name can can you think of other motivation to share your faith uh, uh, what 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 are the other motivation to share your faith with people yeah praise the name of the lord god will help us in jesus name let's let's quickly read the bible matthew chapter 9 we're going to read a lot of scriptures praise the name of the lord dare to share dare to share the gospel dare to share the gospel praise the name of the lord uh, ask god to to move you to a place of deeper love for him Praise the name of the Lord. When you ask God for, 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 for a deeper love for him, ask him to give you a heart like his. You know, let God give you a heart like that, for the heart that seeks the laws, that you're always praying for the laws. You know, one of the, 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 the points we raised last week was that you must always pray for the laws. You must listen to them. They are in need. People of the world, they are in need. So you need to ask God to give you that heart of love one that loves others and passionately wants to reach out with his message of hope praise the name of the lord the message of hope people people are hopeless you give them the message of hope you love them that is why you want them to be hopeful praise god may god help us in jesus name let's read the bible again we're going to read many scriptures matthew chapter 9 verse um, verse 36 matthew chapter 9 i beg your pardon please allow me to read it from my phone Matthew chapter 9, uh, verse, uh, verse 36. Matthew 9, 36. Matthew 9, verse 36. Yeah, like I said, you need to have compassion for people. This world is, people are really, people are in need, people need to be hopeful again. People need to have for hope again. So let's go, Matthew chapter Chapter 9, verse 36. But, but when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them because they fainted and were scattered abroad as a sheep having no shepherd. Hmm. And that is that not what we, we see in our world today. 
you know some of us in the comfort of, of the city we don't know what people are going through but if you go outside there you see people i see a lot of young people in my area and i'm i i, I, I sometimes i almost move to tears when i see the way they behave and the way they they, they are truly like people living their lives like people without a shepherd you know i read that again but when he saw the multitude when jesus saw the multitude he was moved with compassion on them because they they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd what a pity and that is exactly what the world look looks like today uh, you know like sheep without a, she a shepherd no one is is uh, as if uh, man i don't know how to explain to you guys but guys we need to share our faith the world needs to hear about our loving jesus praise the name of the lord uh, uh let me also read second corinthians chapter five i'm going to read a lot of bible so grab your bible second corinthians chapter five i just want you to have uh, uh, uh to, to to find your motivation something to motivate you to share the gospel you know the topic today is finding our motivation and by the grace of god i pray earnestly that by the end of this lesson you'll find your motivation to share the gospel in the mighty name of jesus amen second corinthians chapter 5 second corinthians chapter 5 18 to 20 second corinthians chapter 5 verse 18 to 20 second corinthians chapter 5 let me change. let me read uh, another version i read uh, the kjv that's uh on my let me read uh the message bible second corinthians chapter 5 verse 18 to 20. Uh, we, are, we certainly don't look at him that way anymore now we look inside and what we see is that anyone united with the messiah gets a fresh start is created new the old life is gone a new life begins look at it all this comes from the god who settled the relationship between us and him and then call us to settle our relationship with each other god put the world square with himself through the messiah giving the world a fresh start by offering forgiveness of sins praise the name of the lord maybe your friends may be telling you that Ah, can God ever forgive their sins? Just let them understand that our God is a loving and forgiving God. That no matter how sinful they seem like, God is able to forgive them. Praise the name of the Lord. God has given us the task of telling everyone what he is doing. We are Christ's representatives. We are Christ's representatives. Praise the name of the Lord. God uses us to persuade men and women to drop their differences and enter into God's work of making things right between them. Praise the name. You have a responsibility, even as a young person. So get find your motivation today in the name of Jesus. And go ahead and tell someone about your faith. Don't be afraid. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Uh, because of time, I love to stop here. Yeah. And um, uh, this week, make a conscious effort to talk openly about the God you love. This week, make a conscious effort to talk openly about the God you love. Pray and watch for opportunities to naturally talk with your friends who don't know Jesus about the fact that you are his follower. Praise the name of the Lord. Try some of these ideas below. Praise the name of the Lord or come up with your own. Some of these ideas, comment on their beauty. Like I said, give them compliment. Yeah? Comment on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Praise the name of the Lord. Comment on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Look at the sunset, the sky, a tree, a flower, a pet, or a mountain. Talk about something that happened at your youth group. Praise the name of the Lord. Invite someone to our youth group. Praise God. Invite someone to our youth group. And God will bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus. Share about some things that are stressing you out and how you are trying to pray about it and rely on God to walk beside you through it. Offer to pray for someone who is struggling. I, I love this one. Offer to pray for someone who is struggling. 
offer today to pray for someone who is struggling. It could be your friend, it could be your neighbor, it could be your sister, it could be your brother. Like I always say, the first people to see the light of God in you are the people closest to you, your family members, your parents. Your parents must see that light in you. Your siblings must see that light in you. Your classmates must see that light in you. The people in your community must see that light in you. And when you offer to pray for someone who is struggling, they will come closer to you. And by so doing, you are able to share the gospel with them. So God bless you, even as you find your motivation today to share the gospel with people, to share your faith with people around you. Until I come your way again, next week, God bless you. Let's pray. Father, thank you for an amazing lesson today, finding our motivation to share and shine the light of the world. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us to pray for someone who is struggling today in the name of Jesus. Help us to tell someone around us about how you love them, how you care for them. Help us to tell someone how beautiful, how loving you are. Help us, Father, not to be afraid to share the gospel. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Perhaps there's anyone listening to me right now that have not accepted Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. Father, open their eyes of understanding. Let them embrace this wonderful Savior and let their lives be transformed from the inside out. Thank you because you've answered our prayers. We'll pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. See you next week in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Before we go, let's say our every Sunday confession. It shouldn't be every Sunday confession. It should be our daily confession. Every day you wake up, you tell yourself, I am blessed. Praise God. I am prosperous. I am talented. I am creative. I am forgiven. I am redeemed. I am free. Say, I am valuable. I am anointed. Amen. I am equipped. God has equipped us. Amen. I am beautiful. Say that to yourself. I am beautiful. Amen. You are beautiful in Jesus' name. Say, I am attractive. Made you attractive in Jesus' name. I am amazing. I love this one. I am amazing. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Child of God, say it like you mean it. I am a child of the Most High God. Praise the name of the Lord. I have seeds of greatness. I have seeds of greatness on the inside of me. I'll become all he has created me to be. I will become all God has created me to be in the mighty name of Jesus. I am victorious. We are victorious in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a victorious week, my friends, in Jesus' name. God bless you and keep you. God make his face shine over you and give you peace in the name of Jesus. You will excel in this life in the name of Jesus. You shall be called blessed. Blessed are you in your going out. Blessed are you in your coming in in the name of Jesus. You will know the truth and the Bible says if you know the truth, the truth shall set you free. You are free indeed in the name of Jesus. No weapon fashion form against you shall prosper in the name of Jesus. The heart of God rest upon you. Uh, you shall flourish like cedar in Lebanon in the name of Jesus. Your life will not be cut short. You will live to fulfill your days and your assignment Amen in this life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God, for answering our prayers. I pray all this over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. And everyone say, Amen. God bless you, real girl. Mm -hmm.